this video we are going to discuss about Splunk and RPA. So main question is what is Splunk and what is the use of it in RPA. When we talk about Splunk, Splunk is nothing but It is like Google for log files that store all the log files and provides fast search capabilities like those that Google does for the internet. Then what is the use of Splunk? It analyzes logs without the need for taking the help of database administrator or DBS. So first question is why I need to know about Splunk. In RPA, think in your project has five process. Process one is bagging check with ESM automation process. Process two has data analysis for user so this type of thing you assume you have five passes now you are planning to implement one by one process you are planning to deploy into that process into the client in that case how your client so once deployment has completed your part is completed they go 30 or 40 days of warranty periods after the production of the bot once the warranty period is completed so client has to take up bot implementation and bot issues everything so in that situation how client will take over the bot Think your first bot is running and it's having some issues suppose think about application issue and bot has terminated and sent an email to process owner so that's all your bot is completed the second part is running and it successfully completed 70 records or 100 records or 150 records bot sent an email to the process owner that's all so your third bot is running and having some issues so send what has sent an email to business so in that case how your bot admin can manage the bots think your admin has 100 bots he has to manage 
all the contract how it is working how it is moving what are the issues what has doing so this kind of which bot is terminated which bot is running which bot is uh, uh, moving ahead which bot is not completed transaction which bot is completed by all the transaction which bot has uh, uh, login issue which bot has application issue we don't know so in that case splunk will come up into the point so what you done is you had you had already table this table has audit log how you know how audit log will be happen bot start time can time your transaction details everything should be captured when bot started ended what is the exception so this type of all details will be available in your audit log in this case running 10 process or 10 bots this audit log has all the bots details with the transaction and exceptions business exception system exception everything should be captured in audit log in once part was capturing all the details your transaction splunk will take the data table and creating as a dashboard so think this is your model one your bot one this is your bot two so think this is the bot one has completed 121 transaction this is the percentage bot two has completed 73 transaction only 7.2 percentage see what is the time bot has run bot name or else missing name or else uh, uh, transaction index see everything should be captured here so you can see and one more item you can cover here explain schedule and alert so think your bot one is bot one always run with five minutes per transaction five minutes per transaction Unfortunately, so now I am scheduling my spline and my sorry, I am mentioning my alert time is 5 minutes. In table, one column is there 
transaction timers. So my transaction for this particular bot will take only five minutes. So I will give some grace period twenty seconds. So five minutes twenty seconds. My transaction for the particular bot has to be completed. So I have to. I will set alert in Splunk. Now, how Splunk will behave after five minutes and twenty seconds? The particular transaction with the bot one has not completed. Then it will send the alert to business. Hey, process owner or admin. Our control room admin, your bot is not running properly because it has taken more than what has expected. So in that case, how bot will how the alert will automatically send to Splunk will send alert to the process owner or business. Then this alert messages. Has been taken by control room admin, and he has to check particular bot why it is taking too much time. That type of monitoring, all the monitoring data will be taken from Splunk. And one more thing, you no need to wait for wait for DBA has to come and take uh, show the table. And vary the issue, vary the deadlock, vary the thing. Don't need to show. Think about all the things. Here, if you click reporting, it will show. If you click scheduling, it will show what is the issues when scheduling. If you click data routing, then it will it, it, then it will show you uh, what is the data it's processing. Suppose uh, in in your table you mentioned us. Uh, data one or data two, data three. It will show which data is loading, or else which cloning is running and which load balancing server is running. And monitoring, if you click monitoring finds, all the log files will be captured here, and it will show you. It if you click def defect file changes, detect file changes, then it will. What are the files? So. You have some file locations in your table, audit table. If it is changed, it will show you. So in that kind of communication with all logs, all network ports, scripts, monitoring files, and says the event, everything has to be capturing in Splunk interface. So in this case, in RPA. We can easily move. You can you can run 50 bars, 100 bars, 200 bars. No worries, because Splunk is here. So once your bot is in production, no worries on it. It will show you where is the issue. It will send you alert. It will give you the alert message. It will give you uh, alarm. Everything it has to be. Take him to you. Even if you are sleeping, it will, it will give you alarm. So after the production, everything you have to. So now, what's going on is VA path is integrating it. Already integrated with Splunk. Blue Prism is integrating with Splunk. So, so RPA tools as well. Nowadays they are integrating with the spells, but AA doesn't have. If you want, then you have to create table, audit table, and you have to link with that audit table with the Splunk interface. It's running with Splunk, actually running with JSON. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this. We can see more uh, questions in the next video.